name is Hong Yi and I'm an artist, also known as Red. Um, this is Jared. Hello. And um, this project is about bringing 30 artists from KK, from Sabah, together to paint a person of inspiration uh, on the pillars of this site. But obviously, not every artist is a professional artist, and that was a deliberate choice on our part. Some art, some of these artists have full-time jobs. Uh, we we were lucky that there were two. There was a long weekend due to public holidays, so there was that extra opportunity for artists to come in. Some artists are faster than others, um, but I think a week has been roughly a good time frame to actually get the site to transform the site. Yeah. The biggest issue for everyone on site was the heat. So everyone starts really early, some of them start at 5, and then by about 8, it gets pretty hot. So everyone kind of runs away, and it starts raining, I think, sometimes too. So everyone yeah, kind of like stops. <laughs> so we can't work throughout the whole day. It's yeah. selected times. Yeah. Um, and so other than organizing the artists, so I mean, you know, managing three people is hard enough, let alone 30 people. Um, but also with equipment at this site, there's no, basically there's no site security. Um, so leaving oh, yeah. stuff at the site basically means that we won't see it ever again. So we have to set up and pack down every day, which, and that is, I think that's the most tedious. Hopefully with, with the way that it's turned out, this project has turned out, that they'll feel a sense of ownership that they'll actually want to protect or just appreciate it a bit more. We've given full control to the artists. We're not telling them, hey, here's a list of 30 people, pick one. It's, there are pillars here, you pick who's inspiring to you. So they're every, you, you're going to see all sorts of uh, professions and all sorts of personalities on the walls there. Artists, singers, doctors, uh, filmmakers, etc. But you, you may notice that there are some people cele being celebrated here that weren't born in Sabah, but you know they've lived the majority of their life. They've lived here longer than most of us have. I mean, they've lived here for 50 years. So they, to us, are Sabahan enough, regardless of whatever their documentation says. So as long as they call Sabah home, we, we're celebrating them. You guys would visit the site and support the site and love the site and um, just spend time to go through the site and read up about all these people and artists. And I think what's been touching to me is seeing artists spend so much time, commit so much, put in so much effort, even take days of work to make this happen and to make this good. And, um Jennifer Lingio Saba Art Gallery and so many other According to their own art form to depict, to, to depict someone of their choice. And yeah. I think I think anyone can start something here to bring something back to KK, I guess, to, to beautify KK. I, I hope that this motivates artists as well as organizations, authorities, mm. government yeah. bodies, whoever. Yeah. Um, to feel more inspired or just see that actually organizing something like this or something different but the creative industry, some kind of celebration through art, that it actually has, it generates interest and it has a purpose. Yeah. Um, so hopefully that will kickstart this kind of snowball effect.